Hi again. Um, I had some viewer questions that I thought I would answer today and they're skin care and makeup related. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it so I don't go over time here. Um, what I'm using, uh, for those of you with acne, um, a really good product to use would be something like this. The Oil-Free Acne Stress Control uh, by Neutrogena. Just lightly wet your face. Uh, anything with the BHAs or salicylic acids in them, um, leave them on. So wet your face very just slightly dampen it really massage it in and leave it on for two to five minutes before rinsing it off uh, morning and night um, so that's a good option for you another great option I'm huge on um, beta hydroxy acids off obviously for people with them um, even just like with me just to, to make sure that I don't have any blackheads uh, to keep them at bay um, is uh, this is a great option Paula's Choice fantastic the, the pH is correct you get a lot for your money a big bang for your buck um, so you I would recommend for um, for those of you with acne a uh, 2% um, beta hydroxy acid this is the liquid and just massage it into the skin after cleansing um, it's a, a really good at really deep down exfoliating um, and getting rid of the um, the acne um, I'm those of you that know me know that I'm I tell my clients all the time, number one, sunblock, number two, exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. Um, the, my favorite is the um, Skin Authority Skin Resurfacing Accelerator. Um, it's a 15% glycolic acid with the correct pH of, so any BHAs or glycolics, AHA should be below 3.4. Um, pH. Um, so this has the correct pH. It is rather expensive, unfortunately, but Paula's Choice makes an 8%, um, which is fantastic. So that's something you should look into. Um, as far as now, I did have somebody asking me about um, eye, under eye circles. There's very little out there in my research um, for eye creams that are oil free. But one that is, and it is rather pricey because it's new and it's been something like 10 plus years in the making in the research phase, is Clinique Even Better Eyes Dark Circle Corrector. Um, so that's what I'm using, and I obviously have dark circles, and they are hereditary as well. But of course, through age, as the skin kind of thins, they get worse. And um, nothing's going to take that away completely. Um, there's no miracle for it, but this... It, for those not on HCG, at some point I'll do some um, some of my own product developments that I've worked on that are very um, successful. But um, and you can do them at home; they're very easy DIYs. Um, but anyways, this is a great option for anybody on HCG as an under eye cream, with the added bonus of the um, the dark circle correction. Um, the makeup remover I'm using right now is this Balia one. There's a lot of oil-free ones if you look out there. Some of them are a little bit harsh. I've got sensitive eyes. I find this one doesn't bother my eyes. And the trick to using these is to just soak your cotton pad and let it, it just hold it on your eye for a few minutes and then, un, you know, like open your eye and hold it there under the eyelashes to dissolve the mascara before you wipe it away so that you're not scrubbing at your eyes. I generally find people that are... Um, saying that eye makeup, uh, these oil-free eye makeup removers don't work, it's because they just expect it to take it off and they, they don't do that. You need to let them dis uh, the solvents dissolve first. Um, good old aloe vera gel is great on HCG. Um, oil-free, um, slightly hydrating to the skin. Not enough for those of us like me with really dry skin, but um, very soothing and non-irritating and like I said oil free so that's a good option and it's it's fine for acne for wrinkles for for anything um, the sunscreens I'm really liking uh, well my favorite my holy grail um, sunscreen is the Clarins UV plus HP SPF 40 it is oil free and the texture is beautiful and um, yeah it's just a fantastic uh, sunblock and it's my favorite, but on the less expensive side is the Vivier Skin Sun Protection SPF 45, and it is also an oil-free sunblock. Uh, and that's something you want to be using every day, rain or shine, even if you don't plan on leaving your house. 
put on your sunblock in the morning because the light that comes in through your windows, unless you plan on having all your blinds closed all day and living like a vampire, um, you're going to get sun exposure whether you think so or not. So that's, I mean, I don't, in the morning I wake up, right now I weigh myself and wash my face and, you know, the sunblock goes on. It's really important. First my exfoliant, my um, AHA, and then, then my sunblock goes on it, and it also acts as a moisturizer. Um, another product that you could try that is oil-free is uh, the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. Now this isn't something I would tend to use every day. Uh, it is really good at, at lifting and, and tightening the skin, and um, so it does, you know, is a little anti-aging that way, but it's a temporary thing, so I use it when I'm looking particularly tired and I, I need to not look particularly tired, or, you know, if I'm going out for an evening or something like that, I'll use that because it really perks up the skin. Um, as far as moisturizers go right now, I'm using the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense, and that is an oil-free intense moisturizer. Um, I'll give you some other options. My computer kind of crashed, so I don't have my entire list and it'd be too long to read out anyways, but Caudalie, um, C-A-U-D-A-L-I-E, makes a product called Vine Expert Firming Serum, and it's $88, so it's a little on the pricey side, but it is, a, it is an anti-aging serum. Uh, Estee Lauder, uh, makes uh, advanced time zone age, re age reversing line and wrinkle hydrating gel and it's oil free. Um, Neostrata is has a new product out that I am going to buy actually and try and it's their anti aging gel with fruit stem cells and fruit stem cells are the newest thing in anti aging products and have shown great promise so I think that's what I'm going to try. Uh, Neutrogena. Uh, some options there for anti-aging um, are Ageless Intensives Tone Correcting Concentrated Night Serum, uh, Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream. Those two are both oil-free, so safe to use. Uh, from Olay, in the oil-free department, we have the Expert Exfoliator Daily Exfoliating Gel and the Regenerist Night Resurfacing Elixir. Um, from Origins, we have uh, Starting Over Age Erasing Oil-Free Moisturizer with Mimosa and Make a Difference Plus Rejuvenating Treatment. Um, and those are $58 and $49 respectively. Ole Henriksen, which is an excellent brand and very natural brand, um, makes something called Truth Serum Collagen Booster. Um, I haven't tried it, uh, but I've tried other Ole Henriksen products, and they're fantastic, but it is $90, so it's, it's not cheap. Um, for shaving your legs, one thing I found is uh, Neutrogena Razor Defense Shave Gel. Now, it's a men's facial shave gel, but it makes no difference to your legs, whether it was made for a man's face or not. So for your legs and underarms, that's a good one to try. Um... As far as cosmetics go, um, some safe alternatives would be Cover X FX Natural FX um, water-based foundation. That one's oil-free. It's a full coverage foundation, but can be sheared down, of course, um, depending on application. And one of my favorites, well, my favorite actually, is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. Now, that wouldn't sound like it's oil-free, but it is. Um, very pig highly pigmented. It gives a really nice luminous finish, and um, you need very a little goes a long way. So, yeah, it's expensive, but it lasts a long, long time because you literally need a tiny, tiny amount. Um, also, on the cosmetic front, um, uh, something cheaper to try a drugstore. Some drugstore options that I found are and. This concealer that I'm going to mention is excellent. It's the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, and it's a fantastic concealer, and it's oil-free. And their Fit Me, the Maybelline Fit Me foundation is also oil-free. Um, as well as um, the Bourjois, and Bourjois actually owns Chanel Cosmetics, so it's an excellent high-quality company, but the, the foundation is like $27. Uh, Bourjois 10 Hour Sleep Effects Foundation is oil free, as is the Bourjois Healthy Mix uh, Concealer. 
um, as a luminizer, I'm really loving the Lorac um, luminizer, oil-free luminizer. So that's a really good, again, cosmetic option. Um, for a, an eyelid primer, um, MAC Paint Pots are oil-free, and they're excellent and they last forever. Uh, another option to try is the Bare Minerals Prime Time. It's oil-free. Um, and again, as far as concealers go, Clinique. I can't remember what they call this, a highlighter or concealer pen, but this is oil-free. It does have light reflecting particles. For those of you that know um, La Touche Cla by Yves Saint Laurent, um, this is the Clinique knockoff. Much less expensive. I think it's about $18. Lasts quite a long time. Great for under eye circles as well as, you know, highlighting the high points of the face, that kind of thing. Um, a good lipstick, and about the only lipstick so far that I found that is oil free, is um, by MAC, and it's their Pro Longwear lipsticks. And um, yeah, and you'll notice they don't come in that, you know, the MAC bullet kind of thing. And they're not the skinny little sticks like this. So look for these. Uh, that's about the only oil-free lipstick option I've been able to find and I was in touch with MAC and they've been a company that has been very good at working with me on compiling my list. Um, as well from MAC, is their, um, their cream blushes all contain some form of oil, but their powder blushes, this one is called Pink Swoon. Um, this one is Breath of Plum, which is beautiful for fall. It's a lovely autumn color. And then is a contour color, a gentle contour, is this one called uh, Harmony. So those are some, their powder blushes, their sheer tone blushes, uh, and powder blushes are a great option that are oil-free. Um, as well, of course, is the Bare Essentials, um, or Bare Minerals blushes. Uh, they are also, now only, they've come out with the new ones that are hard-pressed, like those MAC ones I showed you. Those are not oil-free, but they're their loose pigment type um, powder type ones, these are oil free so you can go ahead and use those. Um, I'm not as crazy about them as the MAC as well, Lancome makes, an oil, makes a range of oil free blushes. Um, a really good setting powder that is oil free that I really like because it's so finely milled is the um, Makeup Forever HD um, is it high definition powder? Yeah, and it's it's oil free, um, as well. Uh, the Tarte Amazonian Clay bronzers um, are oil free. Now I have an entire palette here made up of different things, but this is the actual bronzer, and this is in the color Park Avenue Princess, um, and that's an oil free bronzing product, bronzing powder. Um, Anything else? No. So, yeah, that's that's about what I have to show you for now, and hopefully I answered some of your questions. Um, please ask me more questions. I'm I'm dying to answer them. Any beauty questions you have while you're on HCG, or even if you're not, if you're done, or what have you, um, I'd be happy to answer them. If I get enough questions, then once a week I can do um, a, a viewer a viewer question uh, and answer kind of uh, video for you like this one. Um, yeah, so I hope you found this uh, helpful, informative. Um, they said we all want to look good. Just because we're on HCG doesn't mean we don't want to wear makeup, doesn't mean our skin doesn't need moisturization, because it sure does. Um, body, by the way, hand and body creams, I haven't yet found one, so I'm just using, because this um, Clinique Moisture Surge goes along, a little goes a long way again, it's one of those products, um, I'm using that very sparingly on my hands to keep them from, from drying out completely and on my lips as well. Um, but I will continue my research, um, still waiting to hear back from plenty of companies, and again, I'd love to hear your questions, and um, yeah, thank you so much for your support. And uh, take care, stay happy and healthy, and um, yeah, stick to the plan. Bye.